Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I got a pretty impressive weekend planned this weekend. So um, a few weeks ago, my buddy Josh, who lives down in Southern California, uh, he hit me up and was like, hey man, I see that you're doing the, the snow bike thing now. Um, I've never been on one and it's something I've been really wanting to get into. So uh, you think we could make this work out to where I could come up and ride? I said, absolutely, you know, just jump on a plane and we'll come get you. So uh, Josh is a hell of a rider. He rides dirt bikes, he rides big adventure bikes. He's like one of the only guys I know personally that can ride a freaking adventure bike like a dirt bike. And he's actually a, uh, a coach down at uh, Rawhide Adventures down in Southern California. But anyway, so we came to pick him up um, here at the Spokane Airport. I'm waiting for him right now. And we're gonna head down to McCall, Idaho, which if those of you who don't know is just a mecca for snow bikes and snowmobiles. Um, we're gonna ride around there uh, tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, we're gonna stay at Bergdorf Hot Springs. Uh, Bergdorf Hot Springs is just, it's, it's a stellar place. It's uh, over 100 years old. They're, they've got some real primitive cabins there with uh, wood stoves and the, just a gorgeous hot spring. So it's definitely one of, one of a kind and um, I'm gonna give them the full Idaho experience. So we'll pick up Josh here in a minute and then we'll start heading down to McCall. Stay tuned. Just called, so let's go get him. Let's see if we can find him. This airport's tiny, so shouldn't be too bad. There he is. What's up, buddy? What's up? How's it going? Good. Good, man. Hey, uh, you want to put it in the back? Back seat's fine. You guys like to keep it chilly out here. A little bit. It's not like Southern California. Good to see you, dude. Good to see you too, man. Heading south towards McCall. It's starting to snow already. We've got like, I don't know, 10 miles in. Got Josh on his first, first little trip to Idaho snow biking. We got Rich back there in the back doing something super important on his phone. I'm looking at Josh's Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be a good one. We made it to McCall. We're going to McCall Brewing. Getting started. Getting started. We can cruise out to the trail real quick. We made it. Woo! Can't hardly see anything. It's too dark. <laughs> Gonna be a good day, yeah. Snow's coming down. I'm getting ready to roll out. Today's the day. It's gonna be a good day. Bike's getting all ready. It's time. It's time. What do you think? Freaking awesome. This is, uh, is it everything you thought it would be? It's more than Great. I thought it would be. <laughs> <laughs> well, fellas, how's your day going? Woo! How about you, Josh? Oh, you got to do the Captain Morgan. Chilling, <laughs> you know, waiting for the snow bunnies. <laughs> Gosh, that's bright. It's been a stellar day so far. Stellar day. Pee pee. Having some shed some layers. Oh, so bright. So good. All right, we're gonna keep going here. Move over. Get try to make our way over to the the cabins. We just 
we've just been hitting the little side shoots here left and right. They groomed last night, so the trail is just perfect. It's not whooped out or nothing. Red beans and rice. Red beans and rice to piss Louisiana, Louisiana red beans and rice. And then Rich is gonna attempt to take this Arctic cat up that. I believe in him. I feel like he can do it. I think he can do it. He can totally do it. We'll see, we'll see. We'll make you it You got work. this, Rich. Perfect. Beginner's luck, you know? We're gonna have to probably turn you around first. Go check it out and see what it's all about. So bright. Everybody turn and say hi. Yo, yo. Woo. Look at this hot spring. So cool. This place is awesome. It took us about, oh, 19 miles to get here. Played along the way.
Bergdorf has cabins and it's like stepping back into night or into 1800s. It's just, they're so cool, so primitive. Get our fire going, a little porch on them. Trail right there, sun just cresting over the hill. It's gorgeous. take a walk and look at the porta potty had a really good day today the snow was deep but it wasn't so bad that you know we were getting stuck a bunch and only got you know stuck a couple times and check out this outhouse it's going to be a cool little time when you're sitting here enjoying the great outdoors while you take a poop. <laughs> Let's go check out the cabin. But seriously, like the cabin's like stepping back into, you know, the late 1800s. They're really old. Not really insulated, well, not insulated at all. <laughs> you got a place for firewood here. Got the boys. There you go. Nice little wood stove. Roaring right now. He's putting off some good heat right now. Bed. Little couch. Two more beds up there. And we got the deck. Maybe. Stand by. Doors all jammed. But yeah. We're gonna go look at the hot springs here shortly. I'm gonna walk down to the little lodge down here. And they have uh, some pizzas and stuff like that. that well, I say stuff like that. It's actually pretty amazing they have pizzas here, but they get them from a place in, in McCall and then they bring them out and freeze them and then reheat them and they're actually really delicious. We had already ate one called a mountain man. Elk sausage, cranberries, goat cheese, and jalapenos. It was delicious. So heading down back to the lodge and I'll show you the hot springs. Sunset. It's just a glorious day. There's a barn right here. I don't know if you can see under there, there's some goats under, eh, I can't zoom in, but underneath that one with all the wood, there's goats. I'm gonna walk down here to the hot spring. Right here's the lodge, almost completely under snow. Big cabin up there on the hill. It's the lodge. Just freaking awesome. Can't even see, but there's three more pools inside there. Oh, yes. <laughs> He's, got... He's going barefoot. He's going barefooted. So, Rich is super tough. He is gonna walk barefoot in the snow Rich. with no shirt on. <laughs> going to Miami. 
Well, well, that's true, but it's going to be slick walk back. All right, all right. <laughs> We're just going to point and laugh. It's all right. There it is. The glorious. As you can see here, it's a little bit dark, so I decided to call it a night for recording. But just to keep you updated, uh, Rich's feet did not get frostbite, and um, we decided to go here the next morning just so we could wake up and loosen up before the long day of riding. Bikes got a little snow on them. Kind of a chilly morning. I'm gonna go soak in the hot spring to wake up a little bit, loosen up a little bit. Oh, it's freezing. It's like literally zero degrees outside right now. And nice warm tub to get in. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. That's the good stuff. It hurts your feet. Now you can't get out of that one, though. Oh, yeah, right. I got in the wrong one. It's <laughs> <laughs> ah, freaking gold. <sighs> so nice. Oh, yes. I think we have it to ourselves. I think we do. Oh, man. This is great. So come over here, and there's a couple of what? spouts that make it warmer. My nose hairs are freezing. <laughs> and then on the other side, there's two pools. And those are extremely You mean crock pots? Crock pots, you yeah. You mean crock pots? They're so hot. There's <laughs> supposed to be a bathtub on the other side over there. I'm going to go see if I can't find that. Oh, so icy. After a nice little soak to wake up, it was time to go and get our gear on and pack everything up and head out for another awesome day of snow bike riding. All right, day two. Getting ready to leave Bergdorf Hot Springs. Gonna go do some more riding. There's supposed to be another little town we're gonna go ride to and see what it's all about. They have some food and some drinks there. So it's gonna be an awesome day once again. Look at that. Yeah, there's Jeremy, pulling the trailer and everything. Yeah, buddy. Can you hear me, Jeremy? Can you hear me? Oh, yeah. Nice work, bud. 360 degrees of gorgeousness. Another bluebird day. here. Rich is on the other side of the mountain. It just doesn't get much better than this. Hit it.
<laughs> I was like, please don't come down on top of me. <laughs> that was awesome. Nice. Sneak him off the ground. So it was starting to get a little bit late in the day, so we decided to go ahead and call it. We still had about a four and a half hour drive north from McCall up to Coeur d'Alene, and uh, Josh had to catch a flight early the next morning, so we decided to go ahead and start packing up and heading, heading back towards the truck, but I think Josh had a great time. We had a great time hosting him. If this is something that interests you and you're looking for a way to hook up with us and get out and ride one of these snow bikes in an area like this, definitely hit us in the comments below. Um, we're shutting down the rentals and the tours for the winter this year, but we'll be in full force next year. So again, if this is something that interests you, uh, check out our website down in the description below. Uh, link up with us and we can definitely set you up with a trip. Again, I just want to thank Josh so much for coming out. We had a great time with him. And if you haven't yet, please look down below, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that bell icon, that way you know when the new videos are released. And also, if you're looking for a way to support this channel, check out the Amazon affiliate links below. Um, it's not much, we don't get much off of these links, but every little bit helps to support the channel. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and watching it clear to the end. We had such a great time making it, and we'll see you on the next one. Enjoy the rest of this drone footage.